What's going on YouTube? It's Mr. Ferguson here once again. Thank you guys for coming back for another video here in Central North Carolina. We appreciate all the support, all the likes, all of you guys, all you DIYers out there, all of you veterans out there continuing to show support and help me out in my lawn. I appreciate it very much. Thank you for tuning in today, this Friday. Hope you're having a good day. Hope we're gonna get some rain here soon. Today is Thursday when I'm filming this, the day before. It's cloudy, it looks like it wants to rain. There's a lot of rain just south of me um, in my location, but so far, I think just a drizzle or two has happened here. We just can't seem to get it. But it's cool that West Virginia air and uh, filling mountain air is in the air. Um, but just none of the uh, none of the rain, none of the moisture. We really need it, man. As I look upon the grass, man, it is really shining with that humic. I am going to be applying more of that nitrogen spoon feeding a little bit more here. So stay tuned for that. I'm just going to keep darkening it up with just keep pushing it. it it's fun. It's it's two year old grass. It's not baby grass. I think I can push it a little bit harder. So we'll do that here on the channel coming up maybe next week. Also, in regards to the project lawn, I did visit there yesterday on Wednesday before church and was doing some water because it's rained like once since we planted the grass, it's crazy. And so the rest of it's come from the well water from the sprinkler. Um, so it has, th ever since that mow guys, it's thickened up a lot. Uh, even Mr. Kevin, I said, is it just me or is his, this really thickened up? And he said, oh yeah, it looks, it doesn't look nearly as patchy as it did. Um, mowing makes a difference. And so with your new grass, it just, before we get into this topic with your new grass, make sure it's not, you know, it's not this tall, but when it's getting, you know, three, three and a half inches, it's time to mow. The more mows you can do it every couple days when you're fertilizing it, you're spoon feeding it, you're hitting it with flagship or protein or urea or whatever you're doing, you want to do as many mows as you can before you get into the dormancy of winter. That's going to help thicken up your lawn, thicken those roots, telling it to grow deep hitting it with CK, hitting it with the phosphorus and things of that nature. So keep that in the back of your mind. Mowing's not just for looks. We see what we see on the surface. It looks good with the fertilizer and the color, but it's, you know, it's getting, it's growing a lot and it's annoying sometimes to have to mow, but that is really pushing the roots deep, 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 deep. And the more you mow before winter, the, the thicker it is and the more it's going to pop and look so much better in spring. So uh, today uh, it's muggy, it's wet. I'm not going to get out in the lawn. I'm not going to drag you guys around so stay tuned for the project uh, lawn I'm gonna take my mower up there and cut that soon so we'll do that next week show you what it's looking like up there I also want to apply um, some more fertilizer up there I'm not decided which one I want to go to so stay tuned for that but I want to talk about something uh, number one well I just brought this out just to show you guys um, when we were talking about the Ornamic 170 you guys had recommended this and I did buy it um, let me see if it'll focus here there we go the T word ester, um, triclopier, <laughs> triclopier. Um, it, and it says a herbicide for control of annuals and perennial broadleaf weeds and ornamental turf, Bermuda grass, ground ivy, and clover. We've got clover at the project lawn, so I may end up using this, but some of you said use this in combination with Ornamic 170. We may do that. As you know, at the project lawn, right beside the bank, there's Bermuda all over there. So Ornamic 170 plus this. Uh, let me know about this. I know nothing about this. I just know you guys recommended it. So do we? can you use this on its own um, to help with these things or not? Is it recommended to be added to another product? Let me know. But I did buy it. I just haven't even cracked the seal. In case I do a sep sec second application of 170, I do have this here. So just wanted to show it to you and not just talk about it. The next thing I've got, guys, that I ran out of several months ago, and it's time, absolutely time, not only here at my home, but at our church at the playground to uh, do. We use this for the bonfire out at the church. I've talked about it many times, but my good old friend, Tall Star. Um, this is basically bifen um, at 7.9%. You do not have to buy Tall Star, the brand. You can buy just straight bifen pretty much the same thing. This is three fourths of a gallon and I think it cost me 50 bucks. It is not expensive. It is one of the safest products you can ever apply to your lawn. Um, now is the time I'm seeing, ton it's like as soon as October came, I, even behind the camera here, I'm seeing spider webs, spiders. I guess the cool weather attracts them. I'm not sure, but spiders are everywhere 
hanging out of my trees back here when I'm mowing uh, between the trees right here of the property, the, the privacy fence. I'm seeing spiders everywhere. This is the best thing you can use to just spot spray. It won't damage your grass. It won't freeze it in place like Ornamic 170. It is pet friendly. Wouldn't you let it dry? It's not going to hurt pets. Uh, we've even put this in a bottle in my home and sprayed the windowsills instead of calling Orkin, instead of calling, you know, Terminex and all these people. We've done that. We've not had bug issues. We don't have a problem with insects in the house. You can spray it inside in your kitchen in the cracks and it is perfectly safe. I've read the label. Um, I don't have, I haven't cracked it to tell you exactly what it is for, for the lawn. I have applied it to the lawn. Uh, I have personally tested it with a ant hill over here, fire ants. I had a real bad problem in my lawn before I started growing grass. I remember we had fire ants everywhere with my youngest or my oldest daughter and tall star bifing completely the next day they're gone um i sprayed it we did it on video last year up by my mailbox after it was this time of year actually and i was like look there's fire ants oh crap i got something for them went and got tall star mixed up a gallon i think you use an ounce ounce and a half maybe with one gallon mix and sprayed that area they're gone the next day you kick the dirt and there's nothing there the ants move on they're gone and you don't have to burn and torch and and gasoline them tall star works wonderfully came from the guys in the comments uh guys and girls i should say and they were exactly right i take it in my backpack sprayer we're not going to do that today i'm going to do it eventually but with all the spiders and creepy crawlers you may want that look for halloween who knows hey you do what you do you're the property owner uh, but i like to mix up a gallon gallon and a half of it and just spray like my gutter area spray the doors it doesn't leave like this major residue maybe the water that you use will but i've noticed when i hit it on the the windows or everything it doesn't like stain it it doesn't do anything negative to your home uh we got vinyl siding here but i spray all the nooks and crannies and it seems to last for several months and then they will come back and you got to reapply um, you can just broadcast spray this in your lawn if you've got problems with insects spray i spray it around the base of my home even though i'm on a uh, a concrete slab i still spray it around the rocks and around the uh all the areas of my home and it really works it's one of my favorite products so you can find that link below on domyown.com. You can find this maybe even on Amazon. You don't have to get three-fourths of a gallon. I use it so much, I just got a big one. Highly recommend it. One of my favorite products. So that's pretty much all I wanted to. And I also use this down at my brother's house. For those that have been watching the channel long enough, I went down to Wilmington. He was complaining about his dog, little pug that he has, Baloo. Um, he would let him out. He has no grass, just like my home. He said he would come in and he'd have ant bites all over him. He's sore, he's scratching. And we sprayed Bifen and they said it completely took care of it, but they came back. Uh, I believe they said about three months later after I sprayed their property. So if you have animals, highly suggest that you recommend it to people that may have animals. Say, hey, you got a dog. Does your dog ever have a problem with ants? Oh my gosh, yeah. I know so many people with ants. And you can start opening the door to lawn care with stuff like this. Get them a little two-gallon uh, what is it chapin or whatever or a sprayer plus type uh, a sprayer and just say hey you need some tall star let me come spray it and tell me if it makes a difference for your animal and they may be like man that helps so much well, what is that and they may start doing it themselves to help their animals i'm not an animal person we don't have dogs we don't have that we just we prefer not to but uh it that would also help it so tall star or bifin and you can also i've seen in north carolina here you can get it at uh east hardware stores uh, town and country, uh, those type uh, general hardware stores, they'll have it on the shelf there as well. Maybe a little more in price, maybe a little less. Check it out. You don't have to use my links, but if you do, it helps the channel here. So this Friday, I wanted to mention insecticide. So briefly, I just want to interrupt for a second. Here's our front door. You guys have seen that. Uh, our ring doorbell, our pumpkins and everything like that, right? But my wife came home, walked down the sidewalk, and sure enough, I don't know if you can even notice. It's hard to pick up on camera, but right there, you see that cobweb right there? There's a spider right there, that dot. And you can see him in the middle. Um, spider web right here. I mean, in just between the pole and the, the vinyl right here, connected to the chair they're setting up. So man, they are coming out in full force. I don't know what it is. I guess it's the cooler temps bring out the spiders. I like spiders. They uh, catch the gnats, the, the flies, all the flying, 
annoying things. Um, there's some more that I've seen right here since I've been out. We got some cobwebs right here between the, the railings that need to be cleaned, but I'm not seeing a lot up here like I typically do. Uh, up in the gutters and up here, we had our roof done, as you guys know. We're going to have our gutters done soon as well, um, but nothing much up here. But yeah, spider just came and set up camp right here. So uh, they're everywhere. So uh, be, be uh, checking out that uh, tall star and that bifin. Uh, it's definitely worth the cost if you already have a sprayer to be able to do it or even a little two gallon sprayer all you do is throw in a gallon walk around spray uh you'll have a uh, happy family that won't walk into uh friggin spider webs all the time you've got an issue with bugs if you've got an issue with uh, ants and things in your yard i can't highly recommend enough tall star it's a part of lawn care right but as far as insects this stuff is the go-to and everybody at the preschool and at my church knows about it now because of mr blake myself mr kevin mentioning hey you need some bifin and my goodness it works it does the job so even at your own church you may want to recommend it and do a spray voluntarily and uh, see if it makes a difference save the church some money that way so hope that helps for those of you new people if you've never heard about tall star or bifin let me know below i just want to get a feel for it i don't want to talk about it all the time if you guys are like mr ferguson everybody knows about this you're preaching to the choir man let's let's talk about something else let me know i enjoy talking about it we will do an application we may mix it in with something else um uh, you know when we apply it to the lawn if it's going to rain i always like to use the rain apply some type of biostimulant to get watered in and we may do uh tall star I'm not sure if it needs to be watered in or not. You can check domyown.com. It has pretty much all the basic information listed on their website there. We'll link it below, as I said. They've got from a quart to a pint to three quarters to a whole case of it. You can get as much as you want, um, but um, it does last pretty good, um, and it does last as far as application pretty good as well. So I'm repeating myself. Thank you guys for tuning in this Friday. I'm taking the easy video today. We got a lot going on this weekend. Next weekend's gonna be a busy one, and I can't wait to share some information of things once it happens and I get to, to, to share some some th upcoming things uh, one upcoming thing at least and uh, man the lawn is really looking good the air the temperature is looking great uh, this side's looking better than this one for some reason but yeah I can't wait to get out here and push a little more nitrogen which means I'm gonna have to mow a little bit more but I need to really get out here and change my blade soon so I may do that today but God bless you guys thank you for clicking on the video today appreciate you watching let me know if you enjoy this product uh, let me hear your success stories or let me know some negative if you found any. Um, I haven't found a negative to Tall Star yet, but let me know your thoughts and comments below. Appreciate you guys. We'll see you on Monday with another lawn care video, maybe from the project lawn, uh, doing another mow over there. We'll see you later.